guys know who I am? Please let me see your hands. On the ground. Keep your hand on the ground. Hey, so tell me something. We asked the questions. I'm just curious. I mean, what brought y'all into us? Long story. A lot of twists. No doubt. No doubt. I'm Nicole Steele with the Department of Justice. In a city of 620,000, BPD cops reported over 300,000 pedestrian stops in the last five years. You guys have locked up and beat on so many people, we can't get 12 in a box we're willing to trust what a cop says. Could there ever be a moment where a police officer performed their job in such a manner that you would agree with the finding that he should be fired for abusive behavior or brutality? Sir. Has it ever happened? We're doing our jobs. What do people want for us to stop policing? They want us to do it without the collateral damage. You know, with the Baltimore cops, you don't have complaints of doing every day. No. They sure as hell ain't policing. And you can't just blame the cops. We serve the politicians who thrive on being tough on crime. And when they reinstated me, they put me in a unit made up of a bunch of the biggest crooks in the whole goddamn department. These men right here, my detectives, we do things by the book. Mr. The Menace, I'm living. Drug war justifies a lot. Mr. The Menace. This is a dysfunctional police department with a culture that looks at accountability as a four-letter word. I told you weeks ago about a federal investigation. There's always a rumor of a federal investigation. This shit never happens. It's Baltimore. This shit been going on for a long while. We just followed the leader. Am I going to lose my job over this? Look around. We built this machine where half the damn country depart with money and power to up the other half. I didn't have anything to begin with. Watch it work. I feel like a god. I teach these young kids to be good, honest cops. Go, please! The rest is up to them. I'm not a dirty cop. Mr. The Madness, I'm living. Trey Cheney, we're, we're live, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, man. Yeah, man, this is amazing. I appreciate you, Zoe, for having me, man. Trey, this is awesome, dude. Uh, like, I mean, I, I, I've been, I've been watching. Uh, man, uh, it feels like I watched you grow up. <laughs> I mean, like, there's no other way to put it. Uh, like, I know you probably you get did. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you did, man. Um, you know, when The Wire, you know, premiered in 2002 of June. I was 20 going on 21, Wow! you know, so we're talking 20 years later, I'm 40, you know, so, you know, just to still be in the business and to have longevity in this, in this business has been, has been a blessing, you know, I'm really honored and man, I just, my message to people is just, man, if you, you never give up. And you, you know, you strive for your dreams and you stay consistent and persistent. You can make it. Man, I can't believe over there in Australia it's two in the morning and it's 12 <laughs> noon here. That's why, that's why I said I really appreciate you for reaching out to me and and wanting to speak, you know, um, anything, you know, any, any, anytime you, yourself or anybody wants to speak to me, man, I'm I'm always open and you know, just to, just to, just to have the conversation. <laughs> Man, you, uh, you were so, you were so humble and it was so easy just to, you know, set this up. I, I really appreciate it, man. This was like, you, you were like, yeah, man, let's do it. Let's go. And then like, you know, let's just set a time. And I was like, damn, like that's, that's awesome, man. Like I really appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Um, Amazing. Man. Dude, like, come on. One of the best shows of all time is The Wire. I mean, like, look, yeah. you're, you're wearing it. You're a big part of it um yeah how how did that come about man like i mean how do you how does that land in your lap like how do you get cast as crew well you know i started in this business and i'm still a hip-hop artist you know i'm still in still an artist and you know that continued for a, a very long time my journey just being in the business since eight years old was constantly d just doing shows in and out of town i'm from originally from washington dc forestville maryland and just doing shows. And then I want to say in 2000, 
a woman by the name of Linda Townsend, who's actually from DMV, DC, you know, she discovered me and she said, I want to submit you for acting jobs. And um, she said, I don't specialize in submitting dancers or hip hop artists. I want to submit you, you know, for, for these acting gigs. And the first show that she submitted me for was The Wire. A lot of people don't know that that was my first job that I booked as an actor. That was the first audition I had ever went on. And I originally read for WeeBay. Oh, no <laughs> way. I end up, of course, yeah, I originally read for WeeBay, man, and I end up getting court uh, casted as the character Pooh. You know, so just, um, you know, reading for Pat Moran, who's the casting director out of Baltimore, who's a very near and dear friend of mine. You know, I went in there and I read and then I get a call back. And for anybody that's on here that doesn't understand what a callback is as an actor, it doesn't necessarily mean that you book the job. It just means that the producers and the directors, they want to, you know, they, they're considering you. So I go to back to the callback and David Simon is in there. Um, Clark Johnson actually directed a couple of the episodes. Uh, just everybody, man. Uh, Nina Noble. I mean, everybody you can think of was in that callback. And I, I went in there and I read. And three weeks later, I got the call saying that I was cash to play Malik Pukar. Wow. And I remember filming in, yeah, I remember filming in 2001. And, uh, it was just, you know, the, the, this is these were some of the best years of my life. Um, if somebody would have told me 20 years later that we'll still be talking about one of the most iconic, groundbreaking, critically acclaimed shows, yeah. The Wire, in, influential, um, I wouldn't have believed them I, because I didn't know what I was a part of until as the show went on. And then, you know, the, sh you know, the show really didn't get the praise when it was on television mm. we started getting praised after it premiered and then yep. when people finally realized that this show was before its time that's when i understood what i was a part of and man you know <laughs> to play poot all those years all five seasons i'm like one of the last men standing on the wire yeah you know so to go well, there's not seasons. a lot of men standing by the end of that uh yeah I know. each season let alone each I, season, you know the show so yeah i know man so just to um have that opportunity man to to be able you know to to say yo i was on it for five seasons that's a big part of my resume you know um a lot of writers and directors and producers to this day come up to me and they say man if it wasn't for david simon in the in the crew writing a show like that they wouldn't even have started writing you know no. so just to hear people say that and people that i work with i'm like yeah you know <laughs> that's so awesome man that's so awesome to hear i mean like it's just you're, you're such a huge massive part of that show um like okay man i, I gotta ask like my like spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen the wire by the way i mean like yeah you're a part of one of the best, well, in my opinion, one of the best scenes in TV history, man. Uh, that's that's the that's the Wallace scene. Like, I mean, we got to talk about the Wallace yeah. scene, man. Like, the, yeah, uh, yeah, um, and that's Michael B. Jordan, man. Like, I mean, how are you? Like, were you guys? <laughs> are you guys still mates? Like, what? Like, how how did that go down? Like, talk to me about that day. Do you remember I, anything about that day? Yeah, I remember that day leading up to, um, you know, having to, you know, we, we had to kill Michael B. Jordan's character off, which was Wallace. And I remember that day, it was, it was really a sad day because, you know, when you're on set, you develop a, a, a real friendly bond relationship with your cast members. Y'all become family. And um, it's, it was a very sad day because we had got the script and we knew, you know, that we, that we had to, to, to off his character. And um, man... That was a very intense scene. You know, that's that's one of the most iconic scenes of of television history, you know, a, a part of it, at least to say. But um, you know, we were so young back then, man, and, and 
you know, explaining that scene when Bodhi had to shoot him first and then I had to sort of like take him out of his misery because yeah. I didn't want to see him suffer. That was a that was a very that was that was a very important scene, man. And and it was it was huge. And and people still come up to me to the day like, I can't stand you. You killed Wallace, you know. <laughs> so so I, I still get that. Um uh, I haven't seen Michael B. Jordan in a while, but I know, you know, that's family. That that'll always be family. I know when I do see him, it's going to be love. Cause I, I I know I got a couple of things, you know, lined up right now where I'll probably run across Michael B. Jordan soon. Uh -huh, you know, yeah. so I, I've really, yeah, I can't wait to see him, man. Because I, I know, you know, we we go back. You know, the the, the wire was the beginning of a lot of our careers. And, you know, when you look back on something like that 20 years ago to now where everybody is, everybody still hasn't aged, you know, everybody might got a little bit of hair on their face now, but, <laughs> you know, you know, we got kids now, wives and, you know, family is, you know, so I definitely, I can't wait to see them, but yeah, man, that was definitely an iconic scene. And I, and I had so much, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from The Wire. I, I learned so much about acting. You know, I used to always ask Larry Gilliard, who played D'Angelo, you know, a bunch of questions about acting. Wendell Pierce, who played Bunk. Oh, you know, God. Wood Harris, who played Avon Boxdale. I would, I would just ask these guys a ton of questions because, like I said, that was my first job as as an actor. And um, you know, now I'm just. I'm 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 reaping the benefits of 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 that, you know, 20 years ago. Well, yeah, that's I mean, look, man, I'm I'm if you show up in Creed Three, I won't be surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah. That was my next question, man. I mean, like, so you know, the wire. So we we own the city is pretty much. <laughs> when I first saw that episode, that first episode, because that's all I've seen so far. <laughs> it felt like we were plunged right back into that world man like i mean it was you can tell it's a, it's a it's the writing of pelicanos it's the writing of si david simon and it's like yeah this is it, it's like it's like they haven't missed a beat but they've also incorporated um i guess the changes to policing over the last 15 yeah. years since the wire came came out so you know what what are the lessons that you kind of like took from your time on the wire and applied it to you know your performance in We Are in the City because like you're on yeah. the other side now you're on the other side of the law essentially right so, and, and, yeah. and, and 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 I'm actually for anybody this might be a spoiler but I'm actually a cop <laughs> you know so um just you know I've been I've been watching a lot of um you know interviews with David Simon and the whole crew and and I and I have to agree you know so much has changed now because you know david what they did with the wire the wire was before its time but the issues that they were speaking about you know the war on drugs um police brutality yeah you know uh the, the way the way you know police were treating people they you know nothing not much has changed and when, when i say it's changed I'm, I'm speaking of it may have gotten a little worse you know, because when we look at today, it's like, man, you you hearing about police brutality, you hearing about the corruption in the police department, but but then at the same time, it's showcasing good cops as well. Like I play Officer Gordon Hulk, and I'm 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 a part of the Hartford County Narcotics Task Force, which actually, like you know, cracks open the case in a way of the the gun trace task force the baltimore police department gun trace task force and it's like the probe that sets the investigation into motion you know um when you when you take a character like mine is putting those trackers on a car and then you're like okay wait a minute why if, that if was, i put a track on that here, was crazy and yeah and i'm like it's another one you mean to tell me they're tracking these drug dealers to actually rob them you yeah. know they want to know their every move so it's like I mean, it just the corruption in in showing, like, like I said again, the police police brutality in, but being written in such a detailed way that it sparks the conversation, and the conversation 
at the end of the day, we all got to know right from wrong. You know, it doesn't take rocket science to know what's right and what's wrong. And we have to strive and push to treat people better. That, that, that's what, that's the lesson, you know, in, in the show. And, and, and I haven't even seen the rest of the episodes yet. You know, I'm, I'm oh, just no like, way. I'm just like you all as a fan, you know, I mean, I'm a part of it. I'm in it, but I haven't even seen the rest of the episodes. So you can only imagine what uh, George Pelicanos, David Simon, Renato Marcus Green, oh, who's our dude. director, you know, he, he's, these people are, these people are incredible at what they do as far as storytelling and direction and details. Yeah. You know, this show is very detailed, just like The Wire was. Right. Ronaldo and, is coming off an Oscar nomination, man. Like, I mean, that, like, he's yeah. like, a, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, it, and this is, like I said, to be a part of a show of another show that, you know, The Wire was first, but now you have We Own This City. And, 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 I play off of Malik Pukar going from drug dealer 20 years ago to seeing so much happen in the streets, you know, seeing his friends get killed, locked up, him even having to commit a crime and to work in that footlocker and then <laughs> says, okay, I want to join the Harford County Narcotics Task Force as this police officer, Gordon Hall. It's almost like, it, it, well, not almost, it's a full circle moment for me. You know what I'm saying? It's a full circle moment. And the way that I studied, you know, police officers, when I found out I had booked a role, my man Dre was, was with me, who, who's a, you know, the, we had real cops on set. You know, these, these were real police officers that, that were actually walking us through the process of, you know, where, where, where are you supposed to have your badge at? Where the gun is supposed to be? How you're supposed to wear you know, the gear, I, I mean, and, and for me, we own this city, you know, HBO, HBO Max, this was, this was, it felt like I was in class, you know, I'm acting, but at the same time, it was, it was like, it was educational, because I was, I was learning as I was acting, you know, I, I was learning so much about how police officers move, and how they, you know, I mean, even down to the point where, putting the tracker under the car, it was a certain way that I had to do that. I was trained on how to get under and, and how to slide under it and, and, and put that on. And I mean, my back and my legs and everything was hurting <laughs> because I had to do it like 50 times, yeah, but it was yeah. worth it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was worth it. And, um, you know, for people around the world to receive, to, for me to get positive feedback from, you know, my performance on playing this police officer Gordon Hawk, man, I'm like, wow, you know, it it, it really it, it makes me, I'm humbled. I, I feel good about it, man. I, I'm so, I'm so blessed, man. David Simon and them, they put me right, like they they put me right there in front of the world. Okay, he can go from playing a drug dealer to a police officer. Let's show. Trey Chaney's range as an actor yeah and that's I, I couldn't ask for I couldn't ask for no more you know they every single like even detailed down to you know when I was cast for the role what we knew you know what I negotiated what they how they flew me in and I lived out in Baltimore again for for two months and you know I have a song placed in the show and it's like Everything that I kind of asked for, they 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 granted it, and I and I couldn't, I can't ask for nothing else. You know, I all I can do is be grateful and thankful for that. It's um, it's awesome, man. I mean, like you, you know, you you carry yourself so authentically in that show, not only in just the wire, but I mean, you know, we own this city. It's not it's not easy to portray a cop. I mean, you know, you're 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 hit it up in like tactical gear and you know the way you get to move on a raid and things like that man like you're you're awesome so um Thank dude you. hats off to you um I, I know i know we don't have too much time too, uh, too much more time so what i want to do is um i want to talk about what you're doing now man like what what, what do you got coming up yeah. what do you want to what, what you want to talk about what do you want to plug yeah where you, you want to send people to have a look at your stuff man like i mean i'm 
Let's talk about well, it. Well, right now, man, of course, you know, everybody's checking out We Own This City Mondays at 9 p.m. on HBO, HBO Max. And then I have my documentary, my 45-minute documentary that's out right now titled Undeniable, The Trey Cheney Story. And it's speaking about how I got cast for The Wire in 2002, but when in 2008, I had to rebrand myself. I stood on the corners of Washington, D.C. and sold my own merchandise out of the trunk of my car. I did what most celebrities wouldn't, wouldn't dare do, you know, because they would probably feel embarrassed. But in order for me to rebrand myself, in order for me to really connect with the people, I had to get out there and touch the people, you know? So it speaks about just my journey, the trials and tribulations that I had to go through to get to where I'm at today. But at the same time, it's a lot of in between that a lot of people may not have known. And I got some huge testimonials from some of the biggest in the industry. Interest Elbert actually did a drop for me on the on the front of my trailer. No for the, shit. For Undeniable, the Trey Cheney story. Yeah, which was a blessing. He's on, a, he's on the front of the trailer just saying, yo, check out Undeniable. You know, Trey Cheney, he's serious about his music. You know, that's another thing. Um, the, the, the music for me, I've been, any chance I get to go back in the studio and record, I just put out a new video called New Heights. It's like my 25th video as an independent artist. And, you know, I got, I got like I said, I got over 25 videos and they're all on my YouTube page. My YouTube page is Dedicated Father Series YouTube page. And anything you want to know about Trey Chaney, it's on it. A bunch of videos. I got a thousand subscribers. I want people to keep subscribing to the dedicated father series YouTube page. And, you know, man, just it's, it's a couple of things that I got with in television. You're a film. busy it's man. Blow your You're a busy man. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a couple of things that I have that I can't even talk about. I had to sign NDAs for I'm, I'm in a couple of projects that's coming out between this year and next year with some huge people. I, awesome. That's all I can say. I'm it's, 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 it, and I'm just, yeah, man, I can't wait for people to hear about it and see it. And like I said, anybody that wants to follow me, I'm on Instagram. It's uh, Trey Chaney Vision. It's T-R-A-Y-C-H-A-N-E-Y Vision, V-I-S-I-O-N. And then Twitter is at Trey Chaney, T-R-A-Y-C-H-A-N-E-Y. And um, Facebook, I'm all over, Trey Chaney, Trey Poop Chaney, you know, giving people to poop in the middle for <laughs> the Wire fans. And yeah, man, you know, I'm just, I'm everywhere, man. I just, you know, I feel like my contribution is just to inspire and motivate people to never give up, you know, men, women, and children. And um, we're all in this, this business together, you know, every day, striving for our dreams. Absolutely, man. I mean, you know, I love seeing a hardworking artist. I love seeing a hardworking performer. And then just being like, man, like how, how do they manage their schedule? <laughs> um, and just absolutely being yeah, inspired, it's a, man. Like, it's a that. balance. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a real balance, man. And I've been able, I've been blessed to balance, you know, the entertainment lifestyle versus Trey Chaney, the family man, the husband, the father of two, the grandfather, you know, of my granddaughter, Morocco. Like I've been able to balance that. And, and you know, it, it's when I'm doing my thing, you know, with entertainment, whether it's television, film or music, I'm giving it more than a hundred percent. I'm giving it a thousand percent, putting my all into it. And then, you know, did I lose? Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think I might have lost your try. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm that's, here. That's all right, man. We're still but, recording. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I, I was saying, you know, just the balance of being, you know, an actor, a hip hop artist, and then, you know, just the balance of all of that with, with my family lifestyle. You know, everything has to, con everything has to um, e revolve around consistency. You know, I got to be consistent on all levels. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do that. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, you're, 
like, like I said, it, it's it's absolutely inspiring to see someone working so hard and so and functioning on such a high level and performing on such a high level. Um, it inspires me, man. It inspires. I'm sure it inspires others as well. Um, Trey, I am absolutely stoked to see the rest of We Own the City, man. It was. Uh, this yeah. is no no bullshit, no lie. It was my most anticipated show of this year, man. Like I, I saw, yeah. I saw David Simon's name, and I was like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't wait, man. There it is. There it is. We're, we're going back to Baltimore. Yeah. We're going back to law enforcement. Yeah, yeah. I, it's um, and then one thing about one thing about David Simon is David Simon gets it right the first time. Yeah, he gets it right out the gate. You know, I mean, and that's a that's a special kind of talent, you know, and, and just that's a that's a special, unique talent and ability to do that. You know, everybody can't just do that, you know, and I mean, and who knew that as soon as we own the city comes out and people see it, the, the fans, they're going crazy over it. Like it's it's it's. But that's why I said, even with me playing a cop, and then you're seeing your favorite wire cast members pop in and out, and you're like, wait a minute, you that's, know, this that's Marlon is... Stansfield right there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and, it, and it, was, it was done in such a unique and classy way, man. Like, I mean, but then for us, it showed again, yeah, it shows range, it shows that. You know, for the last 20 years, we haven't just been sitting around chilling. We've been out, we've been working. We've been working on television projects. We've been, we've been, you know, perfecting our craft as actors. Like I'm on a, a show, Bounce TV, Saints and Sinners right now. I play Kendrick Murphy. It's it's in its sixth season. You know, me and JD Williams, who plays Bodie, you know, so I mean, but but to go from that to saying, okay. Now I'm police officer Gordon Hall and we own this city coming from the same creators and producers from the wire. And, you know, I mean, this is, that's that full circle moment. And, and man, now in this day and age, now I can honestly say, I know what I'm a part of. Now I know with the wire, I didn't know what I was a part of. That's it. Yeah. Now with we own this city, I know this is going to be talked about for years and more years to come. Yeah, man. No, absolutely. Like for me, I'm just like, oh man, it's 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 a it's a it's a limited series, and you know, it's not going to last the the, the way that you know the wire lasted, like for, for yeah what, five five years, right? So, um, five seasons, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one this one you're just going to get six episodes, and that's it. That's it. But yep. that's but but um, you know. You know, this is <laughs> this this is huge. This is going to be big. Still, it's still going to be, it's still going to go down in history. Oh, totally. I can, I can imagine, man. This is such a, this is such a great team. Um, and you know, like the partnership with HBO. So there's like no boundaries on what we can, like what kind of story you can tell is is fantastic. Yeah. And you know, David Simon's got such a great, uh, you know, like he. You know, you say he's so like he just gets it. Like he gets story. Like he gets storytelling, man. Like the guy knows how to tell yeah. a story. Um, and you know, I, I'm I was so excited to see you back, man. And I'm excited to see you and your character over the next five episodes uh, as we finish yeah. off the season. I'm excited to see what you have uh, coming on the horizon, man. Like you know, you, you got I'm gonna keep in touch with you, brother. Sure. You're gonna keep on. Totally. I'm gonna keep telling you what I got going on, man. And I gotta, I gotta make my way out there to Australia, man. So you can show me and my wife around. Well, man, we'd love to, we'd love to have you, man. Like, I mean, you know, now that the world is starting to look normal again, you know, yeah. I, 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 let's go, let's do it, man. I gotta, I get to tour, tour around with Poot. Like, come on, man, that's, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Trey, thank you so much again for joining us on this, man. This was, this was awesome. Like, this was such a. It, it's still unbelievable to me it feels like i'm dreaming like i know it's two o'clock and 2 30 yeah. right now and i'm just like man i like i feel like i'm dreaming right now like i like i can't yeah. wait i can't wait to share this with people so um man, yeah thank man you so much. I, I can't i can't wait to share it as well man and i like i said i'm humbled man i, I appreciate you I, I didn't i didn't realize over in australia it was 
2 a.m. <laughs> Don't know? worry about that, man. Don't sweat it at yeah. all. <laughs> but it's love, man. I, I mean, just for you to be able to and, and want to want to speak with me. I'm 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 humbled by that. So I appreciate it. And as soon as this is out, I'm ready to share. Hell yeah, man. Um, well look, Trey, I I want to have you back on the show, man. Like whenever you got another chance, yeah. whenever, whenever you of course. Yeah, for sure. Let, let's let's keep in touch, man. Like let's let's keep it going. I you know I can spend three hours talking about the wire, man. Like that is yeah. one of my favorite shows of all time, dude. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but look, uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll share your uh, share your details with everyone listening. You know they'll be in the show notes. Um, everything that you mentioned, your social media, um, they'll be in the show notes. So like they know where to go. Um, but yeah, look, man, we own the city is outstanding. You're outstanding in it. Um, yeah. it's so cool to see you back on the, on, 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 on screen and, uh, doing uh-huh. what you do, man. You're, yeah. you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I, I look forward to y'all seeing what else is going on. <laughs>